Recognize your emperor. Yo, what's up, people? We are back here again today with more Super Auto Pets. Uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, I guess. I mean, three fish is kind of crazy. Four fish is even crazier. Okay, so if you don't know, when you level up the fish, meaning when you get three of the same type of animal, right? Uh, this gives plus one, plus one to everything. This is like the ideal start, if, like start, right? Um, you know what? Let's be the inedible tentacles today. But yo, that's like the ideal kind of start because the fish is like the best early game unit. Plus, I already guarantee that I get a level. I believe this should just be a straight win. Yeah, we trade that fish for the other fish, but that's as easy as it gets. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We buy a horse. We buy a second horse. What we're gonna do is we're gonna combine here. But we're just gonna buy this second one, the second fish here. We're going to combine on the next turn so that when, well, I might be blocking the, the roll button at this point, but where I am, let's see if I can hide myself for a sec. The roll button right there, that's, that has like a one, like the one sided die on it. So that means we only get tier ones right now. So after like round two, so maybe reach into round three. We'll get um some tier twos and then it goes up a couple of tiers every I guess every two rounds. So what's good about leveling up is that when you level, you actually get a tier that's higher up. So we can potentially get an earlier um tier three for everyone else. But yo, I hope you guys are having a good ass time. Um Right now, I'm waiting on food. I'm waiting on food. So any second, I'm expecting to be like interrupted to grab some um, some delicious food. But yo, I wish it was fish. I mean, the game is giving me all the fish I need, I guess. But this is what we we're talking about. So unfortunately, we don't really have a crazy shop that we want. Yeah, we don't really have a crazy, crazy shop that we want. So. How do we go about this? We can roll one time to see if we find something that we want to, to really get a plus one, plus one buff from this. None of these really help us. Maybe a dodo. Oh, the dodo and the fish and this. Okay. Okay. So how do we go about this? I think we combine this horse. I wish there was a way to combine without having to waste a slot. We can actually do it like this. We can plus one, or rather, fuse here. We can buy the dodo. The dodo will get both the horse buffs. We combine the horses. Okay, give me one sec. Okay, so we're back. Um... Uh, she just got some some chefette chicken it's like one of the most well-known uh restaurants here fast food chains in barbados pretty good pretty good to be honest okay it's not that great uh, i like i like any bitches listening i'm kidding so back to what we were trying to figure out so i want i'm considering do we want an early tier three or do we want to buff an ant Right? I mean, the ant doesn't really matter. But stats are really, really good early. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for the tier 3. It's actually a turtle, which is not bad. It's actually a little better, because if you want to pill something to get an early benefit, pilling the ant is great for stats, but pilling the turtle is great for melon armor. An early game, there's nothing that's gonna do more than 20 damage 
to um to really like break through our melon armor so effectively you're getting it twice the damage in right i do think we want to rock a turtle um this horse doesn't really do much right now if we can get another level on this fish and then combine both fish that'd actually be quite insane quite quite insane so i think we do it like this uh we don't lose this fight we don't lose this fight the fish is gonna have melon armor it's gonna have eight attack this should be super super easy so we gotta fight q dodgers warm bagels and they only have like three members on their squad our fish will die but it'll trade hey you know what they had stats but we had we had units we went wide oh dude dude okay but like a, a horse we get a tier three a giraffe is pretty good giraffe is pretty good i can't use it just yet because i don't want to combine the fish so i think we combine here we freeze the giraffe and we roll i was hoping to hit a fish but unfortunately we didn't get to the drop is great because it'll scale our dodo up like asap right like we haven't even hit tier threes like rolling tier threes just yet but the earlier the better and this is essentially giving an apple which is plus one plus one to the dodo every time so the question you ask yourself is do we care about a horse realistically no why because um we have nothing to buff with the horse right we don't want to get rid of the fish because one more fish will put us over to um a level three fish potentially but i do think we sell the horse here we got two gold because it was a level two we roll and just to let you guys see the apple gives plus one plus one which is the same thing that this does but we get a plus one plus one every turn for the same uh cost of three no fish which is what it was rolling for but that's okay we have the giraffe he just says giraffe and uh yeah this is like this is quite the squad this is quite the squad we're not going to freeze any of the animals because we want to make sure that we get the uh maximum amount of roll chance to hit another fish here we got our eight damage fish with melon i actually think we lose to the b yeah this should be a win. Yeah. Oh, this is a draw. Yeah, this is a draw. Wow. Okay. Double Bs actually saved them there. Dang it. No fish. No fish. Okay. We've now entered into tier threes. Question is, do we want anything here? The answer is no. We're just looking for fit. Okay. We can actually pill this turtle if need be. We could pill this turtle. Getting early food is actually really good. I think we can, um, I think we could like pill the, the turtle in front of the dodo. So the dodo gets melon armor because the dodo will probably stay long term, right? So having melon early will help it to scale. the fish we're only going to keep the fish if we get a tier three because then we can uh potentially get a bison and then because we have a dodo the, the fish will never be irrelevant right we'll always pump it up with stats um but the thing is the dodo doesn't really need defense because from round start it always does what it's supposed to do so i'm thinking if we're gonna keep the fish to do damage we want it to do as much damage as we can get it to do. So we want to also buff it up. With the melon. So that it does basically twice the damage. And in late game, it'll still potentially survive a hit. So I do think we want to do this on the fish. The only way we get punished for that is if... um If we don't actually get a tier 3 fish right here. So we're going to keep rolling. Looking for a fish. Garlic armor is useful. We have another turtle, which is not bad. Like, we could roll a turtle, put some garlic on, um... 
Actually, okay, maybe we don't need garlic, but we freeze a turtle. Or buy a turtle. No, actually, we want to be efficient with our gold. Ah, uh, this is tough. This is tough. Because we are still looking for a fish. So if I rolled six times, chances are I could hit a fish and we just freeze it. But we do want another member up front here. So I think we rock a turtle. Mm. Do we want to rock another turtle though? We could buy a beaver and just sell it. Hmm. I know I take like a, a hot second to like decide things, but I really like to give a lot of thought into these uh, decisions. We could just buy like a turtle and a cupcake. Cupcake dodo. So the dodo gets extra stats. And uh, if you don't know what a dodo does, it gives attack stat to the one ahead. So if we give plus three plus three, this isn't permanent. But we give plus three plus three, and then next round, you know, this this fish, this fish just does um plus four, plus three, which is seven, so seven on top of the four, that's like eleven damage, right? Turtle in front of the fish here doesn't really make any sense because the turtle, like, it already has melon armor, so it doesn't really make that much sense. I think we're just gonna roll. Here's an ox. Here is an ox. But there the ox will go. We got actually a level 3 dodo. Which isn't bad. It's not a bad buy. We can freeze this. We can actually put this dodo up front. So what I've seen. Or rather what I've not seen. Is not enough people actually using dodo tech. So this giraffe will buff this dodo plus 1 plus 1. And this one gets plus 5. Or this gets uh, 5 stats. Right? 5 at the, uh, attack damage. And then this will give the plus 5 to this dodo, making it plus 6. And then this just gives plus 6 this uh, to the fish. So instead of rocking it where you put the dodo behind, and this one gives plus 2. I mean, I guess it still does it the same way, right? But, like, the fish will end up with the same damage. But there will be one dodo that has less, like, way less attack damage. So instead of stacking it all on one dodo, it will actually spread the attack out. So this one will likely kill something as well. So we freeze the snail in case we lose. Next turn we combine, we get a level 2. We also get a tier 4 maybe. We roll one looking for a fish. We get the fish. Okay. Okay. And then we get another turtle with milk. With a dude. This is looking kind of nice. So that was a long turn 5 thinking process. But long term is going to work out for us. I promise. Look at this 7 7 ant though. This guy has a, a level 1 penguin. So all these level 2s will get buffed. Okay. Front loading this one. But because of what we did, because of how we align our dodos, we actually managed to kill the um the thing on one hit. So that's great. That's actually excellent. So now we're gonna combine. We get an early worm, actually. Okay. Okay. So worm is great to get, like, the earlier you get the worm, the better. Right? Same with the dodo. The earlier you get these things to scale, the better. Right? Because the faster they scale. The worm, every time it eats food from the shop, it'll get plus one, plus one. So we can essentially try to, like, pump it up with food stats. Right? Um, we don't have to commit too much to, like, attack damage because we can just use the dodo tech. I'll put the dodo here. But what we want to do next, if we are going to come... Okay, we didn't lose, so we can unfreeze this. I do think we want to try our worm. This is going to be a food bill. You know, I got my dinner right in front of me. I got a couple of fish on screen. We got some chicken, you know, we got some freaking worm there, if that's what you're into. I don't know. I don't judge. So now we combine. We get a deer. Do we want a deer? I don't think we do. But then we combine again. I mean, actually get a squirrel, which is not bad. When you buy the squirrel, the shop will fill it with food that we could use to pump into the worm. So that's not bad. 
what what we are gonna do is we're going to grab a turtle here we could pill it right now but there's no need to do that we could freeze a squirrel to like buy some food for the for the worm next we could freeze a snail just in case we lose again um so we want to melon up the the things that'll do damage here you know that's what we want to melon up we really could rock a four squad and allow the dodo to like do big damage to these two or rather the dodo to give like this right if we kill we melon up the worm the dodo will actually give plus nine to both of these which they should really trade with everything you know what you know what so that we also open up a freeze like food spot we're gonna turtle we're gonna do this we have four health we have not lost yet okay so we're gonna rock it like this in case we lose we have the snail to pump us all up uh if we don't lose then you know we have a squirrel we buy the score for three uh we can roll one potentially but then we just pump the the, the worm full of food so nothing else that we really need so let's do this here we go we actually we give plus 10 to both the fish and the worm and they soak one hit dude and we fight a four squad as well could be great actually look at our damage here okay we knock out this camel in one hit doesn't matter we kill the deer the bus dude super super simple four health turn seven we got another worm and uh yo five wins five wins in okay so what do we want to do now we definitely want to buy this worm right we can unfreeze this and we buy a squirrel actually do we need to buy a squirrel we get it for another unit oh oh okay so early game garlic is better right garlic is better than melon why because not enough things actually hit hard enough and reducing every hit by two is actually better than just reducing one big hit by 20 right so early game or mid game it's actually better to have garlic and then transition into melon we are in the mid game right now we're gonna fight like people that have significantly statted um enemies so garlic is gonna help us to stay alive a little longer while also is going to it's gonna be food that we feed the worm so the worm will get plus one plus one here uh but you know we could realistically just never hit melon again this gives plus one plus one to two different animals so ideally the best hits right now would be the dodo and the worm we can look uh we can look into getting rid of this giraffe eventually maybe for like a monkey we are gonna roll for the solid bowl here okay well we hit the squirrel unfortunate truly unfortunate maybe i don't know if freezing this here actually keeps it here because this is where animals would be uh if i roll i think it gets rid of it oh no actually oh dude the monkey that we just talked about okay okay so next turn we're gonna sell this squirrel we'll sell the giraffe and we double feed and buy a monkey the only thing that changes our plan here is if we see a bison only thing that changes our plan because then the earlier we get a bison to start scaling with this level three fish the better oh wow a full hedgehog squad oh my god uh oh this is gonna be chaotic two damage to everything Pops our melon armor. Our worm is all shy. He's covering his face with a hat. Oh my god. I've never seen a team like this. Holy shit. Okay. Very, very interesting team. We live on 2 HP. We basically just AoE'd everything. Okay. So, we sell Squirrel. We sell Goroth. We uh, buy... So we do it like this 
so that we have a maximum chance or like a very very high chance to hit this dodo and this worm we missed the worm unfortunate but we actually got the ideal hit there and actually we can actually hit we can buy two things so it's not the worst we want to swap these around because we want to start scaling up the thing at the right most which will you know it's going to be our worm now so essentially our worm is eating a pear but it's getting a pear a pear is worth of stats plus two plus two um no i guess we just want any random thing so i guess we can grab a deer the deer is okay yeah, the deer's like the best thing here. Camel is too low health at this point of the game. And the rat just doesn't really do much for us. So our worm will start scaling up with the monkey. The fish is really just there to be a fish. Uh, realistically, we can look into selling it if we don't get a bison relatively soon. But our worm is going to do some great work here. Smack this fish. Insta-kill. Our fish is just going to instantly trade with that um, kangaroo. Super, super easy. Bye. We are four health, seven freaking wins, and oh, dude, the, the cow is ideal. Okay, here is what I'm thinking, actually. We definitely sell the deer. Okay. I think... At this point, we haven't found a bison, so it's going to be way like too late to start scaling up a bison. So I think we can actually trade a fish for a rooster. And you might be wondering, why the rooster? So, it says here, uh, when the rooster itself dies, it actually summons a chick that has the same exact attack stat that the chicken died with. And you're saying, okay, well, the chicken has three damage. That doesn't really make much sense. But remember the dodo here actually buffs the chicken with plus whatever the dodo has. Okay. So ideally, this chicken, uh, this rooster will be a 16 attack rooster, which when it dies, we get a 16 attack um, chick. So essentially, we are still getting two times worth the attack stat. It's going to be a little less on the fish, obviously, but that's all right. So I think we definitely come out of fish. Yeah. We buy a cow to get free milk. The milk is going to go straight to this worm. Who's going to get plus two, plus one. Because of its ability, the milk is free. And it gets plus two, plus two. So quick and easy scaling. We buy one rooster. We buy a second rooster. We don't have a spot for our fourth, our fourth slot here. We could freeze a scorpion. It's a free trade on anything. Uh, we roll for sure. Second scorpion. It doesn't really scale. To be honest with you, it doesn't scale. Uh. Okay. I'm thinking we can definitely put a pier onto this worm, get it up to 2020. You know, very very wonderful year. Jk. If we sell the cow, we got two rolls. Turkey, though. And here was the bison. A little too late. Okay. Turkey is actually, in my opinion, the best unit in this game. It is way better than a horse. And it could be useful. Because when the chick, uh, when the rooster dies, we'll actually get plus three, plus three on the chick that it spawns. And when we level this up, we'll actually get two chicks, which have the same attack stat that the dodo gave it, plus the rooster, plus, plus three, plus three. So, I do think that's a little better than the scorpion. Like, long term, it's a little better, because it actually does something with our comp here. So, I think we, um, we buy a rooster. We can save the pair for next turn. Uh, we'll still go to, like, 19, 19, thanks to the monkey here. We can roll one looking for like another rooster. Don't manage to hit it, but we could freeze a snail. Actually, do we freeze a snail? The only reason to freeze a snail at this point is to get rid of this monkey. Like the monkey's stats itself aren't really anything impressive. We buff the dodo if we give this snail buff. So we could freeze it. We can definitely freeze this pier. And actually, 
if you freeze a parrot here, then the parrot could actually get the same uh ability, level one ability, of any of these animals. So we can get the parrot doing plus three plus three on anything summoned, which will be nice for the chicks. Or we can get the parrot doing um you know the give give my attack stat to the unit ahead. So we can actually do like a chain where the parrot copies a dodo's ability. Um, but you see the parrot doesn't have that, ma that much attack, which is the problem. It doesn't have that much attack. But we can make the dodo actually... Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out next turn. But this turn, I think this is what we run with. So we can actually line it up so that the parrot gets its buff from... No. It's going to be weird. It's going to be weird, chat. It's going to be weird. Again, I'm at, I end up calling you guys chat because I just am very used to streaming. Forgive me. But I think this is a free win. This guy doesn't stand a chance. And then you also don't stand a chance. So. Expected win. Okay, don't mean to be cocky, but expected win. We don't lose, so we can actually get rid of the snail. But then again, if this is going to be our buy. If this is going to be our buy, double pair into pirate then we can might as well save the snail because we'll have nothing left so we definitely sell that we buy the parrot right now I'm good. okay okay so we do get the uh the extra stat there we double worm 25 25 worm level one dude if we could find another worm it'll start scaling up by like plus two plus two every time you eat food which is nuts uh, we are going to look for another... Oh, we freeze this chocolate for sure. We are looking for another rooster or worm. We hit none. Okay. So, the question we ask ourselves now is... Do we want... The pirate to... Get the dodo's buff... And then swap it for next turn? So... We have to position it like this first because this turn, when we end turn here, the parrot has to then get the ability of whatever it's behind, right? And then next turn, when it already has a dodo's level 1 ability, we can put it up front here. The dodo will buff it with plus 13, and then this will buff this with plus 19. Um, ideally, also, we have to start thinking about... We have to start thinking about um, items for these animals here. I do think this is a little better than turkey buff. Because the health of the chicks doesn't matter. They start as a one. Like, they have one health. So, and then also at this point of the game, anything you run into will probably kill it in one hit. So, I don't think the health of the chicks matter. I think the attack stat of the chicks matter. The only, I guess, situation where it wouldn't really matter is against, like, a summoner build. So we're going to do it like this. Get the ability of the dodo. Let me rock it like this. Dude, birds of a feather. Our freaking... The earliest bird gets the worm right here. That's this comp. So we do knock this out. We definitely knock out that ant. The buff went onto the turtle, which is great. We knock that out. It summons a chick. Actually, two chicks. We get our chick now, which kills the bison. And then easily trade with the swan. Guys. Absolutely. Absolutely insane run so far. Absolutely insane run. Nine wins. Holy crap. Okay. We didn't lose. So freezing a snail overall just has not been like to our benefit. I actually think. It would be better now. to level the rooster so that when this rooster dies it summons two chicks as opposed to one why because if this is going to be our potential last round we should play to win um the worm here getting plus two plus two every time it eats food aka the worm scaling more it doesn't really matter because we're already one win away like if we do this if we if we level the worm up that's playing to lose. So we're going to play to win. Okay. 
So we line it up like this. So that a dodo buffs everything here with plus 13. And then the pirate buffs this with uh plus 19. So this should kill anything. Um, If we do it like this, then we definitely front load the chick a lot. Or the, the upcoming chicks a lot. Um... Yeah, we definitely do that by a lot. So this goes up to, like, what? This gets plus 13. So that's 18. And then it gets 19. Guys, I suck at math. Uh, let me pull out a calc real quick, real quick. 18 plus 19. Yo, don't judge me. Don't judge me. 18 plus 19 is 37. So then 37 times... Three, actually. That's 75 damage. Hey, my favorite number of all time is 75. So, say less. Uh, I could roll here. There's nothing else that we really want. We got two food buys. Second turkey doesn't really matter. Steak is pretty okay on, like, the pirate. But we can freeze it and we can roll, look for food. Oh, oh, we already got our level 2 rooster, so it doesn't really matter here. I mean, if we lose... We can hold on to it. One more roll. Okay. So we stake up the pirate here. And we're just going to keep it like this. The worm should still clap anything. It definitely should. If it doesn't, then we also have the chicks to like do all that damage for us. We'll have this with plus... 19 with well, 19 attack plus 20 so we should be good yo potential last round right here potential last round let's see okay we knock out whatever is up front i think he also trades with us we live we kill the cat we kill no this lives but the chicks 40 40 chicks oh my god dude and our power was stronger, okay? Yo! Freaking, I don't know, man. I don't know. First games of, like, the days I've that I've recorded this? Insane runs. Insane runs. But, yo, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that like button. Uh, hit your boy with a subscription. Uh, you know, if you want to see more Super Auto Pets, if you're enjoying this, drop me a comment. Let me know you enjoyed it. Let me know if you didn't enjoy it. But, hope you guys have a great day. Your boy's going to go eat. I will catch you guys later. Peace, peace.